if you want to see how i achieve this look please keep watching thank you very much please subscribe like and comment down below hi welcome to the channel today we're going to be doing a very chill makeup look but first my hands are quite dry i just finished washing them and um we don't want our hands to wrinkle so we have to oil oil our hands so that is that and um let's go straight into the video first of all i'm going to um cleanse my face i sorry guys i noticed that i lost the volume uh in this uh clip so what i was doing i was cleaning my face after which i apply the moisturizer to make my skin feel soft and allow the foundation glide easily so that's what i am just doing i'm just applying a regular moisturizer yeah that is it and i'm using this channel mascara i love using it to set my eyebrow so that's what i'm doing right about now just setting my eyebrow with a moist with a, a mascara as you can see i don't have much of an eyebrow i don't have much eyebrow up there but i'm just trying to make do with the little i have so i'm using this channel channel mini mascara i'm using it to set my eyebrow and i'm leaving it to dry i don't like just putting up an eyebrow immediately so what i'm doing i got this cello tape from lidl just 99 pence and i am just trying to make sure i get a very clean line by the side of my eye so that when i do my eyeshadow the fallout doesn't touch my skin and that is that and now i'm using my huda beauty warm obsession i love this palette that's what i'll be using today and this is my everyday palette just using the light the light orange shade to just tap tap on my i'm just tapping it i'm tapping it so one tip i learned is if you if you don't want much fallout from your eye shadow just tap it's a very very good act i've been doing it for a long time now and it's just tap. so i'm using a brown the next shadow i'm using okay i think it's the darker orange shadow that's what I'm using right now. So I was explaining about the the shadow palette. It's very nice. I love it. It's my everyday shadow when I'm traveling. It's I love this eye shadow. If you can see some of the shades, they've hit pan. So I'm using the darkest color. The darkest um, color in the pan, the deep, the deepest color. I'm just using it to place by the side of my eyelid, the outer part of my eyelid, so you can see. I'm just pushing it in. And I'm going back with the previous orange eyeshadow shade. I'm going back with it to just blend it out. And I'm using this James Charles mini palette. I love this palette so much. Although it's a new one, I just got it during the sales. So I'm using a shimmer sh shadow in there to just place on my eyelid. I'm just placing it at the inner 
the inner to the middle part of my eyelid and it's a very beautiful autumn color and I'm going back to the lighter orange again just to make sure the orange color is there and now i'm just using this l a g e pro eye pencil it's just a regular simple pencil i'm using it to try to create an eyebrow for myself as i don't have much yeah as you can see that's what i'm doing it's just a simple look i'm doing today and i've gone back with the mascara to just help my the little bro i have the little hair i have i wanted to at least have a definition you can see there and now i've just i'm just trying the fenty beauty matte foundation for the first time i went to the shop i was giving some testers and i came home to try i want to test how it is on my face and i'm applying it although it seemed dark but it does the job i don't mind as long as it's not too dark if a foundation is not too dark or not too bright i can work with it so you can see it does the job but i think it's a bit too dark i'm using the shade um 170 so this is four is it 470 yeah this is this i'm just applying it all around my face the outer part of my face that's what i love doing and i'm using this flat brush to just spread it across my face it's very matte from what i saw the eye sh the sorry the foundation is very very matte very matte It's very matte and it dries easily. So guys, if you intend to purchase this foundation, know that it dries very fast. If you want a matte foundation, this is it. It's really beautiful. But the thing is that it's really matte. It dries easily. So when I went to my with my beauty blender to touch it, ordinarily I use my Lancome foundation. And at this stage, if I touch, touch it, you will see that my say my the foam is not picking up any product, which is a good thing. But you have to walk fast to make sure you get the foundation to the right place, else it dries on you, as you can see. And now I'm applying a brighter shade of my foundation, my Lancome foundation. I'm applying it under my eyes around my nose yeah that's what i'm doing as you can see just to brighten my under eyes so i am just trying to smoothen it up i what i do is i just place it on my nose under my eyes around my nose my forehead and my chin area that's what i do and my forehead yes under my eyes to brighten up those parts of my face i love it to be quite bright This is just a simple makeup look that's why i'm not really doing much if you just want to be in between not too simple but at the same time not too glam this is the look i love going for this look all the time i try to fast forward the video so we don't spend all day on it so i'm just blending with my beauty blender as you can see that's a damp beauty blender and it does the job for me very well you can see i'm placing more product on my nose 
I love my nose to be bright and later I'll contour the part I want to contour stay blending 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 that's what I do so right now what I'm doing is I'm taking from the same product I'm trying to line the top of my eye bro, so that that ash, ash line will not be there just using that brush I use in applying my foundation to try to line that area and yeah I'm using the Sasha buttercup to brighten my under eyes more to give it a matte finish after I've applied a foundation I love those powders so much I'm thinking of getting the Loria Messier but so far this powder has, has been doing quite a good job yeah I'm not mad at it at all I love it So just placing the powder at the right places where I need it, my forehead, my chin area, and around my nose, bottom of my eyes. You can see the look is coming together already. I'm taking lead to so the fact is that if you're not satisfied keep taking more products and this is the morphe bronze glam glamour bronze palette i love this palette so much it comes in different shades to a very deep deep and this shade is prodigy i so love it i'm just tapping a bit since it's a simple look we don't want much just tapping a bit on my face, around my mouth, uh, the uh, side of my forehead, side of my face. That's what I'm just doing. Just tapping little, little product because this product is very pigmented. We don't want to go all out on it for just a simple look. So that's what I am doing. I'm using this big brush to do that and i'm lining my nose just contour i'm using the bronzer to contour my nose just to get a definition a nice definition So I am taking a very tiny brush. I love this brush because it's very soft, synthetic, and it's easy to manipulate. I'm just taking a blush palette. It's an old blush. I can't remember why I got it. The name is already off. So it's a very nice blush. It's very, very, very nice on a dark skin melanin. So that's what I've just done. Just place the blush in the right places and now i've taken this highlighter from revolution it doesn't appear very well on camera but trust me this highlighter is so so nice it's a it's a good one i'm not mad at it it's not the best out there but i'm not really mad at it i'm taking a small brush to also get my highlighter in real life this my this highlighter is nice really nice it does the job i don't know why it's not picking up on camera but it does it does i'm not mad at it at all so i'm using that same brush to just buff my face so here this is the fenty beauty stick is it um stick 
I love the stick. The color ebony is a contour stick, but sometimes I love it because it's so creamy. Yes, that's what I just said. It's so creamy and I love it. I love using it for different purposes. And this is a Medlin NYX lip gloss in the shade Medlin. I love this as well it's just like my regular everyday lip gloss and i'm using the shade a darker shade in the nyx um cosmetic as well and i'm trying to place mascara on my eyelashes I think this is the last se step I am doing my lash after that I just line my eyes this is in revolution XX I think so eyeliner and I am just trying to line my eyes at this moment this should be the last step after which I just went to place mascara quickly off camera so just lining my waterline top part of my lashes and the look is coming together after which i went ahead to just do a center part and okay I am just um, placing powder just to lighten up those parts of my face to brighten it up because like I said this foundation is really really dark so just trying to get a definition my face and voila this is it this is the makeup look please subscribe if you want more video like this subscribe to my channel thanks for watching like and comment down below thank you so much guys for watching here's a look just did the center pattern on the backbone and voila i love it so much i'll be giving you every week makeup